the Jordan River has dried up and this thing emerged. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're delving into a topic that's going to take us on a wild ride through the ages. From ancient history to the present day. Picture this, the Jordan River, a legendary waterway that holds enormous significance in both religion and culture, is in trouble. That's right, you heard me correctly. Shockingly, it's been revealed that the Jordan River has completely dried up. So in this video, we're going to dig deep and uncover what's caused this concerning situation, as well as the measures being taken to revive this sacred river. So buckle up, because we're about to embark on a fascinating journey through the history of the Jordan River and discover the incredible transformation it's currently undergoing. But before we move ahead, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon. You don't want to miss any of our videos. All right, now let's dive back into the discussion. Since ancient times, people in the Middle East thought that the Jordan River is among the region's most important water supplies. It is unmatched in terms of the cultural and religious significance that it holds for Jews, Christians, and Muslims alike. The Jordan River was a raging body of water that presented obstacles to people who wanted to cross it, as the Bible describes. However, if you go to its reedy banks in the present day, you would discover that it has almost entirely dried up, with only filth lingering to remind you of its once mighty flow. The amount of water that flows through the river each year has declined drastically over the previous 50 years, with the river losing more than 90% of its volume. Several factors have made this precarious situation worse, including climate change, regional wars, and an ever-increasing need for water. The scarce water supply that people in Jordan have become accustomed to will likely become even more scarce so soon. Is this merely a sign of things to come? Or does it actually fulfill biblical prophecies? Representatives from Israel and Jordan recently met at the 27th Conference of the Parties on Climate Change to discuss the need to take action and to recognize the relevance of the meeting. They signed a document known as the Declaration of Intent, which was hailed as a historic step towards restoring the once flowing river and safeguarding its sustainability for future generations. This step was hailed as a historic step to fix up the once flowing river. This statement not only served as a symbol of the connection that exists between Israel and Jordan, but it also brought attention to the joint duty that the two countries have to preserve and restore the Jordan River. However, it is vital to recognize that this is not the first time Israel and Jordan have studied the prospect of repairing the river, as well as this is not the first time the river has been discussed between the two countries. When the peace deal was signed between the two countries more than three decades ago, procedures were outlined for the restoration of the river as part of the pact. These included limitations on liquid waste and pest control, as well as environmental protection measures, agricultural pollution management, and management of agricultural pollution. In addition, the agreement sought to establish a series of parks, natural preserves, tourist attractions, and historical relics along the river. Sadly, disagreements and general deterioration in relations made it challenging to carry out the requirements of this agreement. However, it appears that there is a fresh resolve to address the predicament of the river at this time. Environmentalists and organizations concerned with the environment, such as Echo Peace, have voiced their excitement at the most recent developments. They have made a groundbreaking plan to enhance the amount and quality of water that cascades through the magnificent Jordan River. But wait, it gets even more mind-blowing. A large chunk of this water supply is going to be directed straight to Jordan a country that's notorious for its bone-dry conditions. Yes, Jordan is one of the driest spots on the entire planet. So get ready to witness a jaw-dropping initiative that's going to quench Jordan's thirst and breathe new life into this iconic river. On the Israeli side, Eden Greenbaum, the leader of the Emek Hayarden Regional Council, emphasizes how important it is to clean up the river, not only for the environmental reasons, but also for the sake of peaceful coexistence. He emphasizes that the only thing separating them from Jordan along their tranquil border are the river and a fence. It is not uncommon for the Israeli side to feel the effects of unrest or natural disasters on the Jordanian side. Even amid difficult political circumstances, circumstances, Greenbaum emphasizes the need to work to maintain and strengthen their relationship. 
However, there are some obstacles to overcome for collaboration between the two countries to succeed. Certain subjects of the Jordanian population have a negative opinion of the cooperation and efforts made behind the scenes. Political tensions and hostile language towards Israel create obstacles to working together on various fronts. Nevertheless, both parties are aware of the critical nature of the situation and the significance of cooperating to restore the river and ensure a steady water supply for their respective countries. Addressing the problem of scarce water supplies is essential to the ongoing restoration work. The Jordan River has been extensively modified due to water abstraction and diversion for agriculture and residential usage. Because of this, the river's natural flow has been significantly impeded. That is what caused it to be in the state that it is in now. To fight this issue, preparations are currently being made to construct desalination plants, create wastewater treatment centers, and redirect water from the Sea of Galilee. The Jordan River is going to see an increase in water volume as well as an improvement in the water's quality as a result of these initiatives. The revitalization of the Jordan River is not only important from an ecological and pragmatic standpoint, but it is also deeply significant from a religious and cultural perspective. Christians believe that Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist in this river and that this was the event's location. Pilgrims come from all over the world to take advantage of the opportunity to see the river and experience its mystical aura. Restoring the Jordan River's ecosystem would not only protect the river's holiness, but also restore its biological equilibrium. This would make the river available to millions of people as a place of worship, introspection, and spiritual connection. So the Jordan River, which was once a symbol of life and spirituality, is today facing a dangerous predicament. The river's flow has been negatively impacted due to several factors, including climate change, armed conflict, and an increase in the demand for water. But there is still cause for optimism. The latest declaration of purpose between Israel and Jordan symbolizes a renewed commitment to repair the river and work towards ensuring that it will be sustainable in the future. The participation of environmental organizations and a general recognition of the significance of the river both help to prepare the road for future collaboration and development. The Jordan River needs to be restored so that it can once again provide its cultural, religious, and economic benefits. This would help alleviate the water shortage that now exists. The revitalization of the storied river is not merely a gesture of symbolic significance. Instead, it is a concrete step towards establishing peace, fostering collaboration, and fostering prosperity in the region. As we set out on this path of restoration, let us not forget the importance of the Jordan River and its profound influence on the path that we all travel together into the future. That's it for today's video. If you found this video educational, please take a moment to give it a like and subscribe to our channel so that we may provide you with further interesting videos. Let us work together to preserve and rehabilitate our priceless natural resources. We hope to meet you guys again in the next video. Until next time, take care.